everyone, this is Pick for Life, and in today's P4L review, we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Tamashii Nation's SH Figure Arts Trunks, and this is the Premium Color Edition, so it's a reissue, but it's a reissue with uh, the premium paint colors that they've been doing for the past few figures, and I have to say, as a late collector of the Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts line, I'm ecstatic that they are doing this like I would have been happy with just a reissue but the fact that we're getting a reissue with some of the premium color is fantastic because I definitely didn't want to drop you know 200 bucks on on this figure or get one of the the knockoffs that I, I really just didn't feel good about purchasing uh, especially without having one of the originals so let's go ahead and get started with packaging review and much of the same with the figure arts line especially with the DBZ packaging very much the same as we've always gotten um, I'm not really sure about the packaging colors compared to the original but I imagine that these colors are slightly different the layouts a little bit different but by and large you're just the same kind of style with this kind of pointillism dot artwork or not even artwork it's kind of like the photos uh, that they take of the face here, trunks here, SH Figure Arts. You got the Dragon Ball Z uh, logo here. More Comic Sans with Burning Attack this time on the side. You can see Trunks with his um, Super Saiyan mode there. You already saw that, nothing really on the back. And on the back, as usual, just some more nice promo images of him with his various heads and faces his hairstyles and uh, his accessories like his sword and so forth and I really like this version they're coming out with another version of Trunks soon with his kind of um, space battle armor that his dad kind of really popularized but this is the one that we saw first and I think is the more iconic look for Trunks with his capsule core jacket and everything like that all right so let's go ahead and get this guy open so here we have Trunks and his premium color with all his accessories. And one thing to note is while this is kind of a reissue repaint of the original Trunks mold, it is the same mold, but it does have distinct differences in what comes included in this package. For example, there are a lot fewer hands than with the original set and a lot fewer faces, especially the, the regular faces, so the non-Super Saiyan faces. So I think they had seven or eight different sets of hands, um, while here we have five, so a few sets fewer than the, fewer there. And then with the regular Trunks version, the normal version, he had, I think, uh, three extra faces, so four in total, and I think he had four in total here with his Super Saiyan mode. So you get a lot less in this packaging, which is pretty disappointing to be honest. But I guess they kind of make up for it with the premium paint, so they kind of want to balance that out, I guess. I'm not really sure. But otherwise, the accessories that he gets here with the sword and the sword hilt that plugs into the scabbard um, are, are the same accessory-wise. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the accessories first, just because we're already here. So like I said, he does come with the sheath or scabbard, I guess, for his... his um, classic sword and this you know kind of broken looking one is not part of the canon he never gets it broken like that he does get a chip when he fights uh, i think 18 when he returns from the future but you use this to kind of slide into here i don't really know that they need to do that it kind of would have been nice if you could get the whole sword in here but maybe it was just worried about getting damaged or something like that so you can just plug that in and you can use this to plug into his back by untabbing this or unpegging that and then coming around to the back slotting it in there nice and tight and then you can go ahead and and um, attach this again on this side like so so it works very well the sword here is really nicely painted nice and thin so just be careful that it is a softer plastic so Hopefully you won't have any breaks, but it's nice, sharp, and pointy, and even has, you know, some beveled edges, which are really hard to see up at the top here, which is really nice. It does have a really nice, shiny finish, uh, kind of a gunmetal gray here, I guess. Maybe not gunmetal, but a different silver, and then a brown handle, and I don't think that's painted. I think it's just molded, and then some more of that silver paint down here. So very nice, and you can use that with one of the sets of hands. Uh, uh, the other thing that I wanted to point out is uh, I find that this is a little bit finicky when plugging it in. It's it's not too tight, but um, it tends to pop off, at least on mine, it's like like so. So we're, we're just going to go ahead and take that off for now. Other accessories. So let's start with his um, stock head, I guess. 
and face. And this is just a very straight faced trunks here with his grayish purplish kind of hair. And it looks really nice. It does have a nice gradient to it. It's not just straight gray or anything like that or purple, whatever you want to call it. The eyes are done really well. The lines are done pretty well. Um, I, I, I wish his face or flesh tone, it doesn't, I can't even tell if it was painted or not. So I'm not really sure there, but it would have been nice to see some uh, variations in his skin tone there. As far as the other heads, let's go with his other normal head first. Come on. And this is just kind of an angry face. He doesn't have like the kind of smirking face, which I kind of liked, um, which went really well with his thumbs up version. That was kind of his uh, look when he was flying or not flying, but I guess using the time machine to go back to the future. Back to the future. Uh, he has this set of kind of, uh, I don't even know, claw like hands. He has a set of the open palm, which is kind of energy blastish, I guess. These are his weapons hands. And they do hold the sword. Um, you kind of have to get it in like this, but the, uh, it, it, makes it, it makes me a little bit nervous to try to get it in this way, just because um, it is thin plastic, especially at the, the thumb. But you can go ahead and wrap that around like so and then he has again some open like energy blast this is kind of more like I guess his um, burning attack or something like that that he used especially when he defeated Freezer and his father King Cold as far as his other faces go here is his I guess uh, straight faced Super Saiyan and the yellow here is really quite yellow and has a darker yellow here. The original had like a lighter yellow and then at the tips was kind of like whitish. I actually prefer that. I think I prefer that over this one, which is kind of a shame, but um, I kind of imagined that there were gonna be, you know, pluses and minus to each set. So not, not too disappointing. It is a different take though. So um, it would be kind of disappointing if it had the same exact colors as the original, especially if you had them, had that one already. And then he also has kind of a kind of a grinning mouth open and then kind of a angry teeth gritting uh, kind of face there for Super Saiyan. So yeah, that's really it for all his accessories. Uh, let's move all this off to the side for now and continue on with the review. And those of you who have this mold already are going to be very familiar with it, but since I'm new and there may be other new collectors out there, I'm going to go through the, the mold itself. So again, it's on a uh, I believe a double ball peg. I'm not really sure. Let's pop it off real quick. Yeah. So like a ball peg here and then a, a swivel and a hinge there. That goes up into his neck. It's kind of interesting that it's blue. But it does give him a decent range going down and looking looking uh, left and right. And he has a little bit of head bobble, not too much. But he has like no looking up. And he doesn't have kind of like the newer neck mold that gives you some extra um, range of motion. So to give you an example, like with Vegeta here, he has that molded neck piece in here that gives him a little bit extra range. And you can see it's the same design, but not blue for some reason. So yeah, that that is kind of a bummer that you're missing out on some articulation there too, especially since there are a lot of times that you, you might be doing some like flying poses with with um, the Dragon Ball characters. But his his uh, jacket is kind of a lighter blue than the original. It does still look really nice. I don't know which one I prefer. I think this is probably a little bit more cartoon accurate, but I'm not sure to be honest. I haven't watched the original series in a really long time. So he has that ball peg here that allows him to get his shoulder movement and then the hinge that gives him his arm movement going out. No bicep swivel, really. I mean, you can get that out of the ball joint. He does have double jointed elbows. But honestly, on the since this is premium, I would have liked to see paint applied to these joints. I mean, this is a common thing with figure arts. They don't paint some of these plastic joints like the in the knees and, and elbows. But for a premium color paint, it, it does stick out. 
because this is kind of a more matte color and the these joints are like just bright glossy blue which is kind of a shame he does have um, the upper upper joint ball peg going on just a little bit going left a little bit going right but it does it does um, hide itself very well in there you get a little bit of movement here but not too much so just be careful there nice molded details on the pockets the capsule corp logo looks really clean on his left shoulder his belt looks quite nice even though it's you know kind of <laughs> riding the, the really high point of his waist I mean this was kind of in the I guess 70s and 80s so that's that was a style back then I suppose he does have the ball pegged um, waist joint he doesn't have you know kind of the new feature where you can pop it up to get some extra movement so he is rather limited since this is an older mold and, but he does have that up at the top and below, I believe. I, I don't, I'm not sure. I think it might be a double ball peg. Actually, let's just pop it off and see if I can. Maybe I can't. All right, well, I won't do that. So I'm thinking maybe just this belt piece is a separate mold and the rest is just a double ball peg. So that's going to be my best guess. I'm not going to go ahead and pop that off. But he does have the uh, traditional legs for the DBZ line where you can swivel that down to get some extra leg articulation um, in my Bruce Lee review figure arts review I showed that they didn't do that for him but they did do it here for trunks which is nice he does have that thigh swivel you can go out quite a bit and again if you get that down you can go a little bit more nice molded detail in the legs he does have double jointed knees again this breaking up the look there it would have been nice to have it at least in terms of glossiness kind of match because it does kind of stick out there uh, his boot uh, it doesn't look like his I'm not sure if mine's just tight or not but I can't seem to get any articulation out of the boot so I'm not going to force that if I'm wrong there just let me know and I don't typically do figure arts reviews so I'm definitely not a figure arts master alright so he has that hinge there and rotation so his ball joints in there, and then he has the pinned toe, which doesn't go as far as some other figures, but this is far enough, I think. So yeah, a really still nice looking figure. I still like this mold. I think it captures trunks really well, adult trunks or Mirai trunks really well. And overall, I don't have many complaints. Um, I always was curious about this kind of molded piece here. Like it's a, it looks like it's a separate piece. And it's right on his butt, and I'm, I'm really not sure what that's about. If you know, let me know in the comment section. Alright. Um, did I do his wrist? I think I may have skipped over his wrist. His wrists are on the on pegs and not ball joints in, in the fist, but it does have um, this swivel kind of thingy. I don't even know what these are called. But yeah, so he gets a lot of room, uh, movement in his wrist there. So yeah, that's really it for the figure review. Let's go ahead and just show you how to install some of this stuff. So if you want to get rid of his stock face, you just un un um, peg the front part of his kind of bowl cut. Pull out the face. And where's his standard face? So we'll put on his angry face. Get those two long tabs in there. And then get this, these paces back on top. And there we go. I do like this face. It is a good, nice face, but I kind of wish we just had, again, a little disappointing that we didn't get the, the other faces, considering that, you know, they already had it made. It wouldn't have cost them really that much to add the other faces. To get the head off, as we did before, just pop it off. I, and I still don't get why that one's blue. It's just weird. And we'll go ahead and pop on the Super Saiyan version. This also looks really nice. And I think I like this face the best out of the, the three Super Saiyan versions that we get here. But again, the same deal, just pop this out. This one actually comes up, which is a bit different, off the top of his head as opposed to forward. And then you can replace them with any of the other two or other ones if you have the original mold as well. Uh, I think that's really it for the 
the faces, let's go ahead and put on one of his fists. So just pull out on that peg. Uh, again, just be careful just because it is a thinner piece and it's attached, only half of it's attached to one part of that swivel. So just be very careful when you put that in. There we go. And you get him with his sword. And he holds it really well. And if you wanted to, you could, you could definitely get the other hand, where's his other hand? Other hand in place and ha have him hold it with both hands and dual wield if you wanted to, but I'm not going to do that on screen here. But yeah, the figure has nice posability. It is, again, because it is an older mold and it is, it doesn't seem like they've made any improvements to it. Um, you are limited. You're not getting some of the newer technology that they're putting into the, the lines nowadays, but it's still quite a nice mold and I definitely do recommend it, especially if you're new to collecting the figure arts line like me and don't want to drop crazy money on the originals. So just give some quick comparisons. Here he is with Dear Old Daddy, which is from the premium color line because again, uh, I've been a late collector. I never really liked this blue. This blue just seemed a little bit off to me. But you can see they stand, in terms of scale, uh, they are, they're about the right height, I think. I'm, actually, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm trying to think. I think Vegeta, uh, Vegeta was a little bit shorter so then, in this case, it might be a little bit wrong, but I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, I, I pay so little attention to character sizes in Dragon Ball. But this looks close enough, I suppose. But you can, you can also tell that the hair colors are matching, which is kind of nice, compared to, let's say, the original Super Saiyan Goku, which has a more banana yellow hair. But yeah, that's really it for the comparisons I have. Um, final thoughts, if you if you don't have this figure already, it's definitely worth picking up. He is a character that you should definitely have in your figure arts display. Um, as far as whether you think uh, you need to get a second one if you have the original, that's really up to you. You're getting a lot less. Um, you may or may not prefer the premium paint. Um, I think the hair wise, I, I prefer the original and it really depends on the colors that you like on like the jacket and so forth but it may not be worth picking up a second one uh, that's probably my that's my opinion but it's up to you it's your money but it's definitely still a nice nice mold a nice figure that you might want to collect all right if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them in the comment section below if you like the video please like share and subscribe and if you want to pick this guy up for your collection go ahead and click on the toy dojo link in the description below uh, description below and uh, you can add them to your collection. All right, that's all for today, everyone. Have a good one.